Hey guys, Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to grow your arms, how to get massive arms using nothing but dumbbells. I'm going to show you four awesome exercises that you can do that are going to utilize nothing but dumbbells, all right? Also, make sure you stick around at the end of the video because if building massive arms as fast as possible is your ultimate goal, then I'm gonna give you a tip that you can utilize to make sure you're building those arms quick, all right? That being said, the first exercise I want to go into with you is, again, we're using nothing but dumbbells, all right? So we're gonna do close grip bench using dumbbells. Couple key things I want you to focus on when you're doing these. You wanna make sure this is a tricep movement and not a chest movement. The key focus when you're doing these with dumbbells, make sure you're bending at the elbow. You're dropping your elbows down, bending at the elbows, as opposed to all shoulders, okay? I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Get set up, lock in nice and tall. When you're doing a close grip bench press, if you're working, shoulder, if you're working chest, watch my shoulders here. My shoulders are coming all the way down my shoulders are down and my elbows are extremely far, which is allowing for a pec stretch. You're stretching your chest here, all right? We want to eliminate that. So what we're doing instead, again, keep these dumbbells close, bring your elbows in tighter, and then you're gonna bend at the elbows. See where my elbows are and my shoulders are still straight? This is all you need to do, and then contract using nothing but triceps. Mind muscle connection is huge here. So again, bending at the elbows, keeping them tight to your body, explode back up. That's the close grip dumbbell. All right, and again, let me show you one other way not to do it again. One other time, it's stretching your chest and bringing your elbows too far down and you're bringing your shoulders back down all right don't do that lock your shoulders in place bring your elbows in elbows up all right hopefully you got that this is a really good exercise for tricep growth one of my favorites so make sure you're implementing these if your ultimate goal is to build those arms all right second exercise i want to show you it's a dumbbell skull crusher the difference with the typical skull crusher, we're gonna use an incline bench. Gonna create a different angle for your triceps. Same key point here. You want your elbows to be in tight. You don't wanna flare them out here in tight. Nice stretch, nice contraction. All right, nice stretch, nice contraction. Also, you can focus on when you're driving the weights up, you're getting a nice deep stretch and you're going above your head here, all right? You don't wanna just lock them up here. You're kind of relaxing when you're in this state a little bit. You wanna maintain that stretch back here. Stretch up and out like that, all right? And that's gonna also allow you to isolate those triceps a lot more. You're gonna get a lot of stress and a lot of emphasis on the triceps when you're doing it that way. Third exercise, another tricep exercise, we're gonna do the dumbbell overhead extension. Dumbbell overhead tricep extension. Again, I love this exercise. All of these exercises are gonna allow for a good stretch, a good contraction. You're hitting various angles, so you're gonna really destroy those triceps which is what you want to do all right what you're doing here elbows in tight nice stretch nice contraction get that good deep stretch good contraction at the top all right control these as much as you can control the movements keep your abs tight don't allow your lower back to get too far off the bench Keep them tight and locked down. Keep 
All right. That's gonna be the third tricep exercise you're gonna to wanna to do. The last of the four is a bicep exercise, okay? And we're gonna do dumbbell incline alternating curls. So you're gonna, the difference with the standard incline curl where you're doing both together by alternating, what I want you to do is maintain tension in the opposite bicep. So once you get stretched, let's get them both up here, okay? Leave that one up, good stretch, contraction, and you're keeping that contracted at the top the whole time you're doing that. Also, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, point I wanna make when you're doing these is make sure your elbows are out down, uh, their back pointed straight down and not up like this. If the weight is up here, you're basically resting your bicep. Bring it back and allow gravity to naturally pull the weight down and keep it there while you're contracting the other side. Again, mind muscle, focus on really contracting those biceps. All right, that is the fourth exercise. All right, the tip I wanna share with you guys, basically if your ultimate goal is to just grow your arms as fast as possible, your triceps make up two thirds of your arm size. You wanna stretch that tape, you wanna build, build big massive biceps, triceps, arms. Focus more on your triceps. Still work your biceps, but work your triceps twice as much, all right? That's what's gonna pack on the size. That's why in this workout, we're doing three tricep exercises and one bicep exercise. Keep that in mind. You're still gonna hammer those biceps doing this one exercise, but by focusing on three other tricep exercises, you're putting more emphasis on your triceps, which is where the massive growth in your arms are gonna come from. Also, one other point I wanna make, based on a comment I read in one of my other videos where I was discussing bicep exercises, contrary to what some people think, you don't have to go extremely heavy when you're working your biceps, okay? You actually want more of a mind-muscle connection. I don't mean go super light. You don't wanna get tins and kinda of go through it. Work with the heaviest weight you can by maintaining the mind-muscle connection though, okay? One point, I trained with a guy years ago, he could curl 225 pounds, all right? 16 inch arms. I've worked with other guys that basically can curl 95 to 135 pounds, 18 and a half, 19 inch arms. The difference is the mind-muscle connection. When you go super heavy, you lose that connection. You're focused so much on getting from point A to point B, you're doing everything you can just to drive the weight up. You're not using your biceps to curl the weight up, all right? That's the difference. Mind, muscle, lower the weight. People hear me say lower the weight, they think you're going, I'm going way too light. I'm not going light. I'm still going heavy, but you're not overdoing it. You're still gonna build muscle, but you're gonna build more muscle by connecting with that muscle. So that is a key point I wanna make. It's a long-winded point, but I just had to emphasize that you don't need to go extremely heavy. Extremely heavy is gonna damage your joints. You're missing out on the mind-muscle connection when you do that. Also a point, one last point, and then I'll end this video when it comes to weights. Cheat curls, when people do cheat curls, back in the 50s and 60s, Arnold and those guys were doing it, 70s, they were blowing them up by doing cheat curls. But they had a massive mind-muscle connection. The thing they focused on, it's okay to cheat the weight up with the contraction. But once you're here, you slow the negative portion of the weight. That's where the mind-muscle connection is huge. You're, by doing a cheat curl, you're allowing for heavy negatives. What people assume when they say cheat curls now, and what I see people doing in the gym all the time, is they're forcing the weight up and dropping it down. They're cheating the weight up and dropping it down. You're not supposed to drop the weight ever. All right, that's where the big muscle building benefits are gonna come from, that heavy negative. So 
I've done cheat curls in the past to get growth. But what you're doing is cheating the weight up to allow you to control more of a negative. So the negative portion is still gonna be slow, all right? Keep that in mind. Again, long-winded, I probably didn't have to go that detailed, but I just wanted you guys to know that you don't have to go extremely heavy to build muscle. It's more important to focus on your mind-muscle connection. So all of these exercises I'm sharing with you, the tips I'm giving you, I want you to really start connecting with the muscle that you're working. You're gonna get tremendous benefits a lot faster by doing that. You're not gonna get any injuries by doing that. And you're gonna feel a lot better when you're doing everything correctly. So focus on dropping the weight a little bit and getting that mind muscle connection down. But all right guys, I apologize for going too long with that. I just wanted to get my point across to you guys. If you've got any questions about any of these exercises, comment below, let me know. If I need to clarify something, ask. Okay, Joe and I will answer those questions. We'll get back to you. But also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel or even shared the channel with any of your buddies or family members, please do that. I'm trying to help as many people as I can with all these tips I'm giving. So if that's all, well, that basically, guys, if you don't have any other questions, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.